today on Fixing the Money Thing. But the traditional stewardship message is that I'm gonna get out of debt by confining myself legally. Okay, spend $10 for groceries and I can get out of debt. But budgets don't get you out of debt completely. What gets you out of debt is Luke 6, 38. Given it shall be given and you good measure present and shake it running over, running over, running. See, more than enough is God's system. It's a now revolution today on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to the program yes. today. We've got a lot of exciting answers for you. You know, we get email all the time, people with questions mm -hmm. and comments. And here's one, as a matter of fact, Gary, right yeah. here from Maine, a couple, Ben and Beth Ann. Um, they're telling us that we feel stagnant as well as stifled and ready to move on according to his will. Coupled with this, we're asking for a supernatural debt-free cancellation toward all of our debt and to bless us with his wisdom and knowledge to never get back into debt again. And Gary, we do get a lot of folks that are asking, yeah. okay, I want a supernatural deliverance from God. And there's kind of a combination between getting out of debt and some of the things in the natural and supernatural. Well, Drenda, legally, it's already been finished. I mean, really, we don't have to ask God for something he's already given to us, but they gave a clue, they need knowledge. And, you know, understanding the Word of God, how the kingdom operates, is the knowledge we need. And it, how faith operates and brings heaven into the earth realm is exactly what the Now Revolution is teaching, and it's helped so many people. Mm -hmm. In fact, let's take a look right now and check out how does faith actually work in the kingdom of God. Yes, this is at a recent Tampa conference. You're going to love it. See, you might be that close to your breakthrough. And all you might need is just a little bit of knowledge of how the kingdom operates. Because who has the keys? You already have the keys. You don't have to beg. You already have all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness, through these he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape. I want you to underline or say out loud the word escape. Escape. Escape what? Corruption in the world caused by lust, the King James says, or evil desires. Well, we all have appetites that God placed in us, right? I mean, we all have natural appetites. So what is lust? It's an appetite fulfilled illegally. Is it not? That's what lust is. And so what he says is, you can escape the earth curse system of lack and poverty, how? Because you have all things. In other words, if you, if you are, if, let me give you an example. If you went down to the buffet, do you all have Ryan's down here or a Golden Corral or, uh, you know, a buffet? Golden Corral, okay. How many of you guys walking out the door of the Golden Corral are lusting after the guy heaping his plate really high with the food. How many of you are really jealous about that, envious? Is anyone? Why aren't you? Because you're stuffed, you're satisfied. Hey, there's, I got all I want, you get all you want, who cares? Hey, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's all there. So how do we escape the corruption? The corruption in the world was when Adam lost God's provision and the earth curse came into existence. How do we escape this poverty of the earth curse realm? By not living in poverty. By having all that we need. Let me give you an example. If I gave you a check from me tonight, a check, I gave it to you for $1,000. How many would want one? All right, good. Well, let me ask you this. That's not money. That's called a promissory note. But because you trust me, you believe I probably have $1,000. When I say I'm gonna give you a promise, which is the check, 
of $1,000, you immediately receive it with joy, and you immediately begin to plan how to spend it, even though you don't have a dime of it yet, because it's a promise. The promises of God change the picture on the inside. Once we know who He is, when He gives us a promise, the picture, see a promise gives a picture. It changes the picture on the inside. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's the promise, that's the picture. If I said blue Volkswagen, what do you see? All right, great. If I said vanilla ice cream cone, what do you see? If I said you with a million dollars cash, what do you see? Uh, you guys don't see that. What I'm trying to teach you is there is a point where you can't, if I said 30,000, you can say, yeah, I can make 30,000. That's easy. I said, how about 50? Yeah, I can make 50,000. This year, in the next six months, seven months, you make 100,000. Oh, I can do that. Make a million in the next six, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to do that in seven months. You see, you don't have the picture. You follow what I'm saying? You can't see it. That's what I mean by that. You can't see it with you. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the picture. So you have to keep coming down to finally get to the place where you're at. Okay, 30,000, you know, for, okay, okay, I'm a $45,000 person. You follow that? The picture. See, a promise changes the picture. That's why Jesus said in Mark 16, these signs shall follow them that believe. A testimony does not produce faith, it produces hope. It changes the picture of the possibility. But the possibility and the promise has to be based on someone's integrity, it's God's. That's based on the Word of God. So a sign or a testimony leads someone to Jesus, which we then go to the Word of God that gives us the proper understanding to receive that picture. So you have to see it first before you can have it. Faith is the substance, and faith is the evidence of things not seen in the natural realm. So that's how faith operates. So now we got to talk about why do I need faith? Why does God need faith? I mean, why can't God just do it by himself, okay? So in reviewing how faith operates, you all got a clear picture. Your heart is the key. It's the switch. The kingdom's in you. You have a heart problem. I have a heart problem. We were raised in a perverted understanding of what right is righteousness is. The Word of God, the Bible says, is useful in training of righteousness. And so the Word of God will help us discern the living Word of God. Remember, I'm just reviewing quickly, will umpire our heart so we began to clean it up where it comes into agreement with heaven. Once it's in agreement with heaven, we have the same picture that heaven has. And if we have the same picture, we say the same thing heaven does. For instance, in Hebrews, I mean, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, when it says the shield of faith extinguishes all the fiery darts of the enemy, what that means is, I was using this last night, let's say I told you these walls, now we know they're brown, they're tan, if I told you these walls were red, when someone start weeping and say, I've taught my kids wrong all these years, <laughs> would you? Why not? Come on, why, why wouldn't you start doing that? Because you know I don't know what I'm talking about, right? You know they're brown, right? See, faith is like that. When faith is there and you believe what God says, if a contrary report comes, it extinguishes it. It's like, forget you, bud. I'm not dying of that cancer. God says I'm healed. Forget. It just, see, it bounces right off. Because you know that you know that you know that you know that that's not, that's not a red wall. So again, we have to deal with our heart. With more revolutionary ideas to get out of debt, Gary and Drenda Cassie. Wow, the teaching that you did at this Tampa Revolution yes. was awesome. I think it was one of the best I've ever heard you, Gary. <laughs> okay. uh, the energy was there. You shared about our story, how we mm -hmm. came out of debt a little bit. You shared about the kingdom, yeah. about faith and finances. And when you put that together, it's explosive. <laughs> and a lot yes. of this is just brand new material. Yeah, we just released the Now Revolution 2.0 and a lot of things have changed. We've added a whole segment on how faith operates, taking it to a deeper level so people can understand exactly how faith works, what it looks like, what it feels like, the laws of the kingdom. We've expanded them, added new stories, 
and it will change your life. If you find yourself today needing to understand how money operates, get out of debt, maybe you've lost your job, uh, or whatever in the kingdom, you're just not tapping into what the Bible says, listen, you're supposed to. The Bible has the answers in it. It explains how the laws operate. And we've had tremendous testimonies of how this has changed people's lives. Yes, God doesn't want you to survive. He wants you to thrive. And this is how you can get your set now. Today's resources are designed to increase your faith and revolutionize your life through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. Are you tired of waiting for your life to change? Then it's time to change the way you think. It's time for revolution. You've got to step into the chaos and conflict if you ever want to change your life. The Now Revolution is the foundational teaching of entrepreneur and financial expert, Gary Cassie. In the Now Revolution 2.0, Gary's five teachings use scriptures, stories, humor, and personal experiences to show you the principles of the kingdom of God that will revolutionize your life now. When God gives you the plan, man, you need to move. Are you tired of being held captive by your finances? It's time to break free and discover God's abundant provision for your life. You need new direction. You need new ideas, new concepts, right? To get you someplace you've never been before. So it comes by revelation. Messages include, the kingdom of God is real. Why faith? Wealth by the Holy Spirit, power of the measure, and provision through God's kingdom. Call, write, or log on, and for only $30, you get over six hours of teaching on CD, plus 20 financial scripture cards designed to move you from just surviving to thriving. The kingdom works every single time. Or you can get the Now Revolution on five DVDs and the 20 financial scripture cards for only $40. Discover how to step from survival mode into destiny mode, how to sow and harvest, then live on the overflow. Start your journey to financial revolution. These great resources are yours when you support the worldwide outreach of Faith Life Ministries. $30 for the Now Revolution on CD with the financial scripture cards. $40 for the DVDs and scripture cards. And whether you order CDs or DVDs, Gary and Drenda want to bless you to be a blessing with a second set to give to a friend or loved one. Help someone you care about experience financial breakthrough and discover their God-given destiny. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCassie.com or write to Faith Life Now. P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Get the Now Revolution 2.0 for you and a friend. Life's too short to spend one day living in lack. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and he makes fixing your money thing easy. Call, write, or log on today. With more revolutionary ideas to get out of debt, Gary Cassie. Okay, so now, why faith? Now we're gonna dig into some other things here. Okay, Hebrews chapter two. I had a pastor come to me at a meeting. I was hosting a meeting for pastors. Pastor Brown came to my meeting. Like this, we were just teaching. And uh, after the meeting, everyone left. We were cleaning up, and Pastor Brown walked back in the office with his wife. And so it was just us and him. And he said, I, I, I brought this check. I want to sew it into your ministry. He had a $100 check. I said, great. And they began to weep. And they began to tell me their story, that their house was being foreclosed on in six days. They needed, I can't remember what it was, I think it was like um, 6,000 some dollars to get current. And, uh, you know, after hearing the teaching of, of the Word of God and how the kingdom operates, they wanted to tap into that. Well, he, we prayed with him. About three months later, I, I saw him in a meeting. He came running up all excited. He said, do you remember the night I came back in the room and I, we prayed? I said, oh yeah, I remember that. He goes, man, you won't believe what happened. I said, yeah, I will. <laughs> Tell me about it. He said, you know, we have this little silk screen business on the side, this little t-shirt thing. You know, we don't do anything with it, just in the garage. He said, we sewed that. We, we understood how, how to release our faith in the kingdom of God. And he said, do you know someone called us and placed orders? We did $8,700 worth of business in five days and we paid that house current. Do you, he says, I just wanna thank you for teaching these things. Now, understand that God's not miracle money, money. We have to know how to harvest money. 
He harvested the money, you see. We're gonna, we'll get into that later in the week. But, uh, you know, there's answers. We need to learn how it works. Hebrews 2nd chapter, we're going to find this to be true. In verse number, we have to go back to the beginning of time. We've got to go back to Adam and Eve. So Hebrews chapter 2, verse number 7, speaking of Adam, mankind, you made him a little bit lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, and you put what? What does your Bible say? Everything under his feet. In putting everything under him, God left what? Nothing that was not subject to him. Okay, I want you to get the picture. God gave the earth realm to man completely. He ruled over it. Satan had no dominion in the earth realm. Although he was here, he had no dominion. He was subject to man. But uh, Satan gained access to the earth realm through the gatekeeper of the earth. Who was who? Man, Adam was. And so he deceived Adam, and Adam rebelled against God. What it's talking about here is God crowned Adam with glory, right? Crowned him, it says, with glory and honor. Glory is the anointing of, of God's kingdom. Honor is the position that God placed him in. And so he operated under delegated authority. So I want you to get a picture of a king. A king who rules an empire is a man like you and me. But he has a crown on his head that represents a government. For instance, a sheriff says stop to a semi-truck that's huge, could run him over. But the sheriff has a badge that simply says the entire government is behind me to back me up if you don't stop. You understand what I'm saying? So he ruled with delegated authority from God's kingdom. When he believed Satan instead of God, he essentially took his crown off, his badge off, and said, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to rule. God's, God's kingdom's faulty. God's not to be trusted. He set the, you know, I'm, I'm tired of being sheriff, and set the badge down. Although man still had the lease of the earth, if you will. Man still had the legality in the earth realm, Spiritually speaking, Satan ruled over man now. Death and sin became the way of life. So then because Adam kicked God out, here's what, here's what the result was we find here. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you'll eat of it all the days of your life. The earth will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you'll eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you'll eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you are taken." So Adam was told, you're on your own, bud. See, in the garden, Adam had everything he needed, didn't he? Did he ever worry in the garden? Did he ever have to worry about provision in the garden? No. But see, he was kicked out of the garden. I should say he kicked God out of the earth realm, and he lost the garden. And now he became a survivalist. Now by his own labor, his own sweat, his own painful toil, he would eke out an existence in the earth realm. Jesus says that the unbeliever runs after the things of life. He sweats painful toil. You've been trained in that system. See, if I told you that you had to be out of debt this year, I know it, no exception. If you weren't out of debt, uh, you know, your family would be hauled off to Siberia or something. You know, I mean, something drastic. You know, wait a minute, we have to get out of debt you would immediately begin to put in place a mindset of more labor, more painful toil, faster running. We can grit our teeth. God, give us the strength to run faster. Do with less sleep. I'll do five jobs. My wife can do 20 jobs. That's because women are better than men, more capable, multitask, you know. My children can go to work. Is that not right? Is that not right that you would have to, you would begin to put a plan in place to work and sweat uh, because that's how you've been trained for provision. See, when Jesus talked to the disciples when he fed the 5,000, they came to him and said, look, these guys are hungry. And Jesus said, you feed them. What was their response? Well, that would take eight months wages. What he was really saying is, that would take eight months of labor, sweating and toil to get that done. That's not possible. Because see, the only system he understood was the earth curse system of labor. That's why Everyone wants to be a millionaire. The only escape, see, we're tired of trying to find provision. We wake up every morning with the weight of trying to find provision. Am I right? 
See, the earth curse system says if I have money, I need to hoard it. If I don't have money, I need to find it because the only way out is I need to become a millionaire. That's why the show is so popular. Everyone wants to be a millionaire. That's why gambling is so popular because there's no labor attached. Everyone is tired of running. Everyone is tired of being a slave. They want to stop running to finally do what they want to do. That's why we say you cannot ever discover your destiny until you fix the money thing because it's impossible. You see, Adam lost his vision. When he became a survivalist, fear came into the earth. Fear of lack, sin, disease. He became a survivalist. Worry came into the earth realm. Had to find provision every day. The weight of finding money, finding existence became his number one goal. Whereas he was created originally to rule the earth under God's authority. He had to let go of his assignment to become a survivalist. You with me? He lost his vision. Listen, the word provision, provision. See, without provision, you can't have vision. Survivalists don't dream big dreams. They don't envision great futures. They're satisfied not to rock the boat. Let's just survive till Friday, get the paycheck, go out to McDonald's, go down and go buy a few gadgets down there, feel good about life, and do it all again on Monday. You know, to give you an example, I like this example. If I came in tonight and I said that I had found outside your, your church building, not on your property, but you know, maybe just across the street, I found a brown paper sack full $1,200,000 in cash. And I came in here, I said, you guys, God is so good. Look, I found $1.2 million just outside your property. Man, it's awesome, and I'm so excited. What would you do? Okay, you would smile. You might do that until I'm gone. And then at the supper table, you're going to say this phrase. I want, you to feel, I want you to finish it for me. That's not, how'd y'all know that? You know how you knew that? That's how you're trained. Because it wasn't fair, because I didn't come in here, I didn't labor for the money. See, I, but if I came in here and I crawled in it, but the back, I crawled, I had, I had uh, you know, just some jeans on and holes through the jeans, and I crawled in here, and my wife, we crawled in here and say, you know, it's amazing, we did it. We didn't sleep much. Well, it was tough, but we did it. Man, we worked 23 hours a day for the last 10 years. Man, we paid our house off. You can do it too. You know what you do? You go, ah. You know why? Because someone actually got out of the rat race. But because we've been trained by that system, if I would say I found the money or that God blessed me with it, we all have a problem with that because it's not fair. Because we're still under the earth curse system. We're still under that power of lust, as we talked about in 2 Peter 1.3. We're still envious at the dessert line. We're still jealous over what you have because we don't have enough. We have been given all things that pertain to life, and we don't got it because we don't know how it works in the church. If they, people outside this building knew that we had the keys to that, the provision, you couldn't hold the people in this place. They would knock the doors down to find out how that works. But because the church does not demonstrate that, and we put bumper stickers on rusted out cars that say God can do anything, they don't want anything to do with our God. Today's resources are designed to increase your faith and revolutionize your life through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. Are you tired of waiting for your life to change? Then it's time to change the way you think. It's time for revolution. You've got to step into the chaos and conflict if you ever want to change your life. The Now Revolution is the foundational teaching of entrepreneur and financial expert, Gary Cassie. In the Now Revolution 2.0, Gary's five teachings use scriptures, stories, humor, and personal experiences to show you the principles of the kingdom of God that will revolutionize your life now. When God gives you the plan, man, you need to move. Are you tired of being held captive by your finances? It's time to break free and discover God's abundant provision for your life. You need new direction. You need new ideas, new concepts, right? to get you someplace you've never been before, so it comes by revelation. Messages include, the kingdom of God is real, why faith, wealth by the Holy Spirit, power of the measure, and provision through God's kingdom. Call, write, or log on, and for only $30, you get over six hours of teaching on CD. 
plus 20 financial scripture cards designed to move you from just surviving to thriving. The kingdom works every single time. Or you can get the Now Revolution on five DVDs and the 20 financial scripture cards for only $40. Discover how to step from survival mode into destiny mode. How to sow and harvest, then live on the overflow. Start your journey to financial revolution. These great resources are yours when you support the worldwide outreach of Faith Life Ministries. $30 for the Now Revolution on CD with the financial scripture cards. $40 for the DVDs and scripture cards. And whether you order CDs or DVDs, Gary and Drenda want to bless you to be a blessing with a second set to give to a friend or loved one. Help someone you care about experience financial breakthrough and discover their God-given destiny. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCasey.com or write to Faith Life Now. P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Get the Now Revolution 2.0 for you and a friend. Life's too short to spend one day living in lack. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and he makes fixing your money thing easy. Call, write, or log on today. This is such an excellent teaching, and so many people have been helped through this ministry, through the teaching that Gary's sharing about the kingdom and finances. I want you to get help. We want to get this series in your hands today, the DVDs, the CDs. Uh, So many people are giving us praise reports, and the best thing is they have hope that there are answers because there are answers in God's Word. That's right. You know, there's an economic storm out there. And if you keep your eyes on the circumstances, as Peter, you're going to sink. I tell people all the time, you've got to get the truth of God's Word in your spirit, in your heart, the confidence Mm -hmm. to know exactly how it operates so you know without a shadow of a doubt that it operates. You know, we would love to meet you personally. We travel the Now Revolution. We go to churches, conferences. We would love to meet you one-on-one and and be there for you. Also, the material. Some people are holding even like a DVD Bible study with this material, and it's changing lives. It is. You know, we're here for you. Faith Life Now exists to be able to minister God's Word to you, to give you answers, and not just spiritual answers, but these answers, answers are practical as well. They do both for you. God bless you. Thank you so much for being part of today's program. Get this series and let God change your life. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. Tune in each Friday at 5.30 p.m. for Drenda. Connect with special guests, discover life-changing topics, and learn to live life out loud. It's more than just television. It's Drenda. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more, more impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton off of 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center with services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. Thank you for your faithful prayers and generous support of this worldwide ministry. Fixing the Money Thing is a presentation of Faith Life Now.